All right, hi everyone. Thank you for being patient. Appreciate everyone being here today. Um, it looked like a great turnout. Um, I did not get to come last year because my sister decided to have her university graduation at the same time. So I hope my team did a great job representing VMware last year. Um, but my name is Marilyn Basanta. I'm a senior director of product management for VMware's Edge Compute products. Um, so today, I realized after we submitted the keynote talking, as you guys heard, we both had two people who decided that Sharpen Your Edge was the right title to go with. So I think we all use the same chat GPT prompt. <laughs> and so, um, so I'd like to talk to you about these three different um, themes that we see come up with our edge and enterprise deployments, especially over the last year as things for us have accelerated and, and we've made a lot of great progress at VMware with our edge portfolio and our products, especially our Kubernetes offering. I would say that's where we've made the most leaps and bounds um, in how we're going to support apps at the edge um, over the last year. We had the most recent Kubernetes release that we just had end of January, had a lot of great things that I can cover um, that'll help accelerate deployments and applications at the edge. So I'll cover these three themes. Uh, first is around scaling, large scaling at, at a, inefficiently. And, and this is definitely a very difficult problem that I don't think any of us have yet solved. Um, we can solve different aspects of it, but it's really how you're gonna bring all of it together and scaling your edges out. So the first thing I see come up um, is how are you gonna manage this? Everyone wants a cloud-like management experience for their edge. At least that's what I'm hearing from our customers. How do we make this easy and holistically give you that one view where you have all your edges, you have your policies, you have your security, you have your application. So how do you make this super easy to manage holistically? So this is something we've been working on with um, our own Kubernetes management console, but then how do I up level that even further, not just for Kubernetes, but for everything else adjacent to the edge, um, for all the different other applications and the tooling that you need. Um, another thing that is very important for us to be able to scale efficiently is working on how do we make it easy for it to be scripted. So this, we're working on more of a GitOps approach for this, um, and we have some interesting projects that were announced last fall that are now kind of converging together to give people a different, some people will want an easy UI, other people will want to take control with scripting, and how do we make, take that approach to not just the Kubernetes offering, but everything else and how you define your edge sites. Um, another piece is how you design your edges. And so what we've seen at VMware, people want to deploy Kubernetes in lots of different ways. Um, we just recently introduced some single node clusters, but we've got um, a reference architecture, different designs of how um, some people will need to scale their Kubernetes offering differently. Um, and then separately, um, which of course is very important, is how do you handle these costs? So a lot of things from a, from a business value perspective um, of our customers who've been successful is how do we make this um, easy to manage and so that way they can contain the cost. So everything's around having a killer use case or having that application that then kind of leads you into having the different applications at the edge. Okay, so now that we've covered that's how important it is to scale your edge, it's how do we then make this quick, quick to deploy? Because that's the other thing that we see with our enterprise customers. I have customers coming in who know they want to roll out a new computer vision application at the edge and do inferencing and have real-time decision making. But they're telling us, hey, this is going to take years for us to roll out to all these different stores or into these manufacturing plants. So how do we get our customers taking advantage of the latest and greatest technologies that we all have in the open source community or in our here in our enterprise offerings to take advantage of the new things at the edge? And so we're working a lot on orchestration. It goes back to what I was talking about, this GitOps approach. Um, we're trying to make it super simple to get the infrastructure up and running, and in a variety of ways, because not everyone will want it from the cloud. Some people will want to send it to their system integrators and have things staged. Other people have limited bandwidth. So it's a variety of permutations of how do we accelerate this, these deployments and make it easy. Um, the second part is I've talked about, and I'll talk a little bit more about the new apps. I believe the, that's kind of the pitch I gave um, before. I love talking about the, the new reasons and the new apps, why, or why apps are being deployed at the edge, excuse me. But um, it's very important that we um, take into account the tooling, like I said, and making these um, applications easy to use. Things like enabling real-time functionality in the operating system to taking advantage of messaging and streaming queues to help build your applications to do closed closed loop automation to speak to each other. Um, but another thing that's important that uh, I've seen come up recently that I think is uh, nice to point out is security. It's definitely had a bigger emphasis on security as we work, as we help our customers accelerate edge sites. So um, 
things like Caverna, sorry, I'm going to butcher the company name, I'm sorry, um, different open source tooling um, and things like that that we have to kind of feed into the architecture to make sure that security is taken into account. And I'm not, not just talking about application security, um, I'm also talking physical security at the edge locations. How do we help enable the hardware that um, if someone's going to walk away from it in a grocery store or at a you know, coffee shop that you have the hardware secure. Um, and of course, most importantly to accelerate deployments is lifecycle management. So a lot of work has also gone into how we're thinking of the lifecycle management experience um, for Kubernetes. Okay, and then now that you've scaled your platform, we figured out reasons, important things for scaling your platform. How do you accelerate the deployment? And then, so what's really driving the acceleration of the deployment? So that, to me, this is the most fun part to talk about. So what we're really doing, and the reason why workloads are going back to the edge and why Kubernetes is so important to the edge is because of the new workloads that are coming up at the edge. And so what we're seeing in this is, of course, in retail, manufacturing, oil and gas, power utility, the fact that everyone's on a modernization journey in their applications. And so how do we enable these new applications? In many cases, I already touched upon this a little bit, is they're real-time applications. So if you're a power substation, how do we work with the ecosystem ISV partners to enable their application to be containerized and handle the critical optimization of power utility? Um, in the cases of manufacturing, we're working um, a lot in manufacturing. In fact, this week, the half of my team is here and half of my team is actually at the Hanover Messe conference, which is one of the biggest manufacturing shows where we're showing real-time Kubernetes applications there. Um, and um, retail. Retail is all about the immersive in-store consumer experience. Everyone wants their experience now. So how do we help enable these new, these new edge workloads? So this is all about edge native applications, which I know the CNCF have released a draft on that kind of cover the criteria of how we see edge native applications and what makes them different. Um, Everything I kind of talked about is very use case based, very line of business driven. So these are the real reasons on why, you know, we're trying to meet that use case. We're trying to say that this one use case kind of plays for the, pays for the platform and then you're enabled to do lots of other things on the platform. And so to run critical applications, we normally see is one, we start off, a customer might start off with one use case. Let's say this is a retail store with video surveillance. So if you're taking that surveillance, you have to store it for 30 days, you have to store it somewhere, you have to secure the platform, and then that, um, that video feed could be inferenced to serve different applications. You can send it to another device, you can send it, you can inference it there, or you can need to store and forward what you need. So that's now one use case has multiple different serving points, storing, storing points, and capturing the video. So then as you multiply different devices and different use cases in a retail store, you then have more data sources and how do you help these applications actually communicate with each other? Then that leads to what I think is the real value of, of the edge. The fact that you can take all of the data sources at the edge, bring them together on a common platform that we have with our Kubernetes offering, but more importantly, how do you help these applications communicate with each other? And that could be with something like RabbitMQ um, because you need to capture from multiple sources. We're going to store, process, bandwidth reduce, transform, and then forward. We need to process and serve it across the different edge sites for different applications, and then it has to be secure. So the fact that we can help bring together a complete platform from um, automating, scaling, and then helping build these applications and have a common communication method to make it easy to create these applications, I think are the three tools <laughs> that you can use to help enable your edge um, and help your customers. So thank you.